welcome to the Zepta Kitchen. Today we're going to be cooking with Zepta Masterpiece Cookware, which is a full range that includes pots, frying pans and even pressure cookers. We're going to demonstrate how Zepta products can contribute to creating nutritious, delicious meals and a healthier way of life. Today in the Zepta Kitchen I'm joined with Chef Marion. Marion, tell me what are we going to be cooking today? So we will be cooking a steamed fillet of uh, cod with some uh, vegetables, Mediterranean vegetables, and with uh, couscous. Okay. And after that, we will also be cooking a little breast of chicken. Right. Very simply and uh, very tasty. Tell me, what are we going to be used to cook these lovely ingredients? So I will be using the Zepter Masterpiece Collection. Yeah. So for the first recipe, I will be using a pot, a strainer that I will transform in a steamer. Okay. And on top of that, a serving bowl that I will use as a container to cook the couscous, just to show you how versatile the collection is. So we're going to be layering up these pots Exactly, and because yeah. all the heat is coming from the bottom of one pot and will just be distributed. So one of the characteristics of this pot, mm -hmm. it is, as you can see, quite thick. Yeah. In fact, it's a multi-layered uh, bottom who will accumulate all the heat and distribute it evenly yeah. in the pot. Mm -hmm. And as it is done with a uh, stainless steel 1810, it's a very noble stainless steel. It will not oxidize, it, will, it is not porous, uh, it doesn't change of color, it is uh, completely chemically stable right. and it is indestructible. So they're going to look shiny and new for a very long time? At least 30 years guarantee. Okay, 30 years guarantee and I think they'll last you a lifetime, indestructible yes, you say? Will. Completely and they go in the dishwasher and they go in the oven. So we just put the spring onion and the chorizo just like that in the pot. As you can see I'm using a metal spoon. That's amazing. Yep. All right. I will just reduce a little bit and the heat. And that's not sticking to the bottom at all. Not Normally at all. Be. Yeah, it's true. Then I will just add a little bit of peppers. Mm -hmm. And as you can see I still didn't add any water or oil or whatever. Then no ratatouille without tomatoes. No, we wouldn't have a complete ratatouille without so. tomatoes, that's for sure. <laughs> so I go with cherry tomatoes mm -hmm. that I just cut in half. Yeah. It's looking so colourful already with the peppers and the tomatoes and the herbs. And it smells absolutely amazing. And then we will just give a little stir. Okay. As you can see, my lid is still on it. But can I we get a nice even heat distribution at this stage as well? Can you, you can see that it's absolutely not attaching in the bottom of the pot. So yeah. it's really appetizing with all these fresh, it's beautiful colors. It's what it colors. needs to be. And uh, it's, you always have so many vegetables in your fridge and you do not know how to to use them, you just mix them all together. Mm. I noticed as well that the lid has just been, you know, it's just hanging out on the side of the pan. Is that going to get too hot to handle? You have to be careful with not that. Not at all. The good thing of it is that until you do not need to touch it, you know where it goes. Yeah. But when you need to touch it, then you've got bakelite here and on the end so you can touch it. At any time, you will never be burnt. And if I ask you now to put your hand on the end you will see that it's comp it's warm, yeah. but it's quite comfortable. I would expect to be burned at this stage because obviously you see the tops here. Yes. But actually, this the material that's used doesn't conduct heat at all, so both the handles and the lid are completely safe to touch. Exactly. So, so you don't have to worry about using tea towels and no, gloves. No, and you never know where they are. And as soon as you see a pot, you want to touch it, and you forget that you do not have any yeah. towel, and then you burn yourself. <laughs> yes. So now, we will use a strainer. Yeah just to show you how versatile the pot are. Mm -hmm. So normally you will use that to be able to wash your food, yeah. but we will use it as a steamer. Okay, so the pots and pans here are multi-purpose as well. Completely multi-purpose and completely versatile. Ah, great. So we'll just ask you, Maddie, if you can give me a piece of fish. So this is the piece of cod that I put in my strainer that I will then transform in a steamer. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going back to my pot, mm -hmm. and as you can see, the the lid as a feature that I didn't describe you, okay. which is a thermal control. Mm -hmm. So you've got three fields on it, mm -hmm. yellow, green and red. And in it you can see the little black arrow where we will tell you what is the temperature inside the pot. So you don't need to look inside the pot to see what's going on. Exactly. It's a lot easier. So now we've got our vegetables, our fish and to complete the dish we will just add a little bit of couscous. Lovely, okay. Right. I feel like this might be the third tier on our stacking system as well. <laughs> Winning! <laughs> couscous is very very easy to do so as you can see we've got it here. We will put a little bit of salt. Right. But, but just, just to add a bit of flavour. Flavour and tests. And we will just cover it with a little bit of 
water yeah. just to be able to to make it yeah. uh, fluffy all right thank you very much so what I will just do is to stack the couscous on top of the pot. So okay. Madi, may I ask you to give me the serving bowl okay. that we will just turn upside down. So again, we're using a multi-purpose exactly. tool here. What was a serving bowl is now becoming a nice hot plate to warm the couscous on. Exactly. So it's what we call the stacking system. And as the material is the same from the bottom to the top, everything is in stainless steel 1810. So it will conduct the heat until the top of the tower. So we're going to get that up to 95 degrees temperature in every single layer of this stacking yes. system. And so I just put this one on top of it and to be able to control the temperature until the top I just put the lid back on it again right. and it will indicate me the circulation of steam. So we have our vegetables cooking and their lovely juices, we have the fish that's steaming and the couscous is soaking up the water. Um, so what can we do in the meantime just whilst that's finishing off? The thing is that we could do now a nice fillet of chicken. Right. The thing is that it's cooking on its own and we do not need to do anything to have a fantastic dish at the end. Okay, so we don't need to touch it anymore but it is worth noting that these pans, pots and pans will also work on an induction heater. So if we just swap over with pleasure buddy. and then I just finish the heat with well, the yes. cooking process slowly off on this and then so the I will just take it from there to there and then that will just finish cooking on the induction heater yeah. yes and I'll get you some chicken so as you can see my dear mm -hmm. I choose some skinless chicken so yeah. that you can't tell me that the fat that I do not put on my pot to do not have a chicken attaching is coming <laughs> from the skin I won't tell you that <laughs> so no way. normally I would use um, oil or in, in fact I'd just put the chicken skin side down and I'd cook it in its own oils and fats but actually with the Zepta system you don't need to do that you can just simply use just skinless chicken so it's really lean and very very healthy so as you can see, Maddy, mm -hmm. oh, my chicken is still alive. <laughs> I just put it straight into the pot without anything on it. It does make me feel nervous because, I don't know, with, with the pans that I've certainly been using at home, that would now be an absolute nightmare to clean. Yes. But, but it won't be? No. Okay. All Promise. Right so Imagine. that chicken has just gone straight into the pan. We haven't used any oil and there's no skin on the chicken at all. So now, as you can see, you start to have, can you see, Maddy, mm -hmm. a little bit of coloration in the back in the bottom of your pot. Yes. So it indicates me that my chicken is ready for turning. Ready for turning. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And we're getting nice coloration as well, even without the use of oil. Is we're okay. still getting a nice sort of browning for chicken there. Because the chicken is a mm. lean meat, mm. but it's got fat in it. So yeah. it's this fat which is coloring mm -hmm. and you do not need to add any of it. Mm -hmm. So now I was I have to ask you, how do you like your chicken? How do I like my chicken? Tomatoes on it? Yes. So Let's go for the tomatoes. Uh, a little bit of confit tomatoes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Just to make it, we will pretend that we are south of France now. And again, no oil, no water, everything is just going straight into the pan. Do you like basil? I love basil. Okay, so let's do for a little of basil. So like we did with the vegetable dish, we're just using fresh herbs for our yeah. flavouring instead. Yeah. So here is yeah. my basil that, as you can see, mm. I just pour on the top. Mm. The smell is already quite good. Mm. So Maddy, as you can see, tomatoes mm. in, confit tomato and basil. So now we will just put the lid on. Mm -hmm. And the lid it just fits so snugly inside the pan, so we're not going to be getting any of that excess spillage at all. No, yeah. and so all the steam is completely in it, and if it was escaping from the side, it just tells you that you have to reduce the heat, mm -hmm. so you save energy. I know. So now I think we should return to our vegetables, our fish and our couscous and see how they're getting oh, on. hungry. I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to try some of this chicken, and what we're looking for is a lovely moist chicken breast. Mmm. I'm absolutely perfect, really juicy, incredibly succulent. Here we go. Mmm. And again, that is so tasty as well. Considering we've got nothing in there at all, just apart from a bit of rock salt, you can really taste the vegetables inside both the chicken and the fish. That's a big thumbs up. Thank you, Maddie. No, thank you for being with us here today in the Zepta kitchen. And of course, if you are interested in any of Zepta's products, or especially anything from the Masterpiece Cookware collection, then just visit the website zepta.com and we'll see you soon.